Hello everybody and welcome to part two of Christmas gift ideas. In this video I'm going to be talking about Christmas gifts ideas for people in your life who love to journal, art journal, junk journal, uh, bullet journaling, etc. So anything like paper craft related basically this is what this video is about. Um, if you're interested in seeing a video more specifically or geared towards crocheters um i will leave that linked please don't mind my dogs i'm sorry um if you're interested in seeing a video for christian specific gifts i will also leave that linked and if you're interested in seeing last minute christmas gift ideas i will leave that linked as well so that will be in the description box and up here somewhere um for you to check out if you are interested in those videos as well so I want to let you guys know, <clears throat> I did not count this as a item on the list, but it is like a bonus item and that's gift cards. Obviously you can get gift cards for anybody at any point in time, not only for Christmas and some people feel like it's a cop out gift, but I don't, I think it's actually really nice. Um, <clears throat> especially if you don't know exactly what they want it's a nice gift for them to be able to choose for themselves so a few different places i think are good to get gift cards for is hobby lobby joann's and michael's those are popular um craft stores in the states and they usually have everything that you need for crafting purposes next i want to let you guys know everything that i mentioned in this video will be linked down below in the order in which it is mentioned so you don't have to struggle to find that link down below anything that is amazon linked will be an affiliate link so i do get a little percentage of it they do not charge you more they do not charge you less based on you clicking my link you could search for it yourself if that's something that you're interested in um but if not you can click that link and i do get a percentage it does help me out so um yeah and then i want to also stress the fact that please shop small because it helps small businesses it really does make a difference um and when you shop small you are changing somebody's life so definitely consider it i know it's kind of last minute for all of that shop small stuff but if you can please do it so let's get into the video okay so item number one is pens markers crayons coloring utensils etc anything like that paint all those things are good things to have and you can never have too many that's going to be like the <laughs> the motto for this series you can never have too many um pens i feel like run out so quickly you're always losing them you're always you know using them all the ink up refillable pens would be perfect a perfect gift um, so yeah, I think that those would be great items to have and they're easy, simple, quick to get. Um, you don't have to put too much thought into it, but it will be super appreciated. Also, they make a great stocking stuffer as well. Now, next on the list is pen holders or pencil holders and or a cute mug. Now, if you know anything about me, you know that I use mugs. For my pencil holders um for example this one this one's a cup it's not a mug but um i have like a collection of mugs and then the mugs i collect i use as holders for my pens markers crayons things like that this one specifically is my marker cup so there's that and then i have a bunch of other ones off to the side here too I think a mug is cute because, well, they can use it for uh, what a mug is supposed to be used for, but they can also use it as a nice pencil holder. And um, yeah, I think it's a great gift. If not a pencil holder, like, let me grab it. Like this one would make a great gift. I actually got this for Christmas like four years ago or something like that, three or four years ago. And I love it and I'm still using it. And yeah, it's, it comes in handy and this is where I keep all my bullet journal stuff like the ones that I use the most and then I have a bigger one where I keep like a lot more so I have a lot of pens markers crayons things like that art supplies in general so yeah always a good gift um next I have a new journal 
Now, this one is like hit or miss. If you know what kind of journals they like, then go for it. But sometimes you can get a journal and it just is not a good journal or it's not what they would particularly like to use. Um, so I think that looking into it a little bit more, figuring out, trying to kind of sneak your way into knowing what kind of journals they use is a good route to take. Um, I think something like this pocket journal that I have um, where I do my like daily devotionals and things like that is a nice gift, also a great stocking stuffer. Um, but this journal is nice. Um, but if you're dealing with somebody who's more of like a bullet journaler or whatever, I would um, recommend something like what I have. Where is it? I don't know. I don't think I have it here with me, but it is a dotted grid bullet journal, um, which if you've seen any of my bullet journaling videos, you will have seen that journal. Um, so something like that would be great. It just comes in a lot of different sizes. So knowing what kind of journal they use is a good thing when gifting a new journal. Um, but it's always nice to try new sizes of journals and to try a new kind of journal in general. Um, so I feel like you can't go wrong with that either way. <clears throat> Lord, either way, you cannot go wrong with that. Um, I am working on getting some journals, some soft cover journals up on um, Amazon KDP. And I'm also going to probably have some on my Etsy shop and customize them a little bit more um, if I can. I'm still figuring all of that out. So that's not going to happen for a, quite a bit. But it's something that I am interested in doing and they will be soft covers. I will like to make hardcover books at some point, but we'll see how that goes. Um, and they will be most likely bullet journal kind of journals. So like I said, just keep that in mind, what kind of journal they like to use or would use. Um, but basically I use any kind of journal. So let's move on. Next, number four is washi tape or stickers. Now this kind of is hit or miss as well. It just depends on the aesthetic, the vibe this person is going for. But honestly, you cannot go wrong with washi tape because even if they don't use it as a permanent piece of their, um, I guess, bullet journal or their journal in general, um, they can use it to do certain designs and then just take this, the thing off at the end. I just finished doing that yesterday. I used it to do some lettering, like some some word art. And so that's something that washi tape is good for. Um, and you can use washi tape for literally anything. So I think that you can't go wrong with washi tape and stickers are also a great idea. Um, like I said, it's just kind of an aesthetic thing. So if you know what kind of aesthetic they're going for, then you should be all good with that. Next, and this one's probably going to take me a hot minute because I did a lot of research on this next one. Um, more research than I did for my first video, and that is subscription boxes. So if you watch the crochet video, I also mentioned subscription boxes and kits. Um, but I just linked an article down below in that video of crochet subscription boxes. And then um, I linked down a bunch of different crochet kits. Um, so, but this video, I did a little bit more digging to see what kind of subscription boxes are there. So I'm going to kind of jump into those a little bit. So the first and probably most popular one is the Archer and Olive subscription box. And they have the most beautiful subscription boxes I have ever seen. And they're sent out quarterly. So they're sent out every three months throughout the year. This is a subscription box you have to sign up for. You probably won't be able to get into it right now um, because you have to really prep for it, <laughs> but um, they are pretty expensive with them being $75 for one box. Um, now, it kind of makes sense why they're so expensive. You have three months worth of subscription boxes in one box. But boy, oh boy, are they expensive and are they beautiful? And I would love to get at least one at some point in my life, but $75 is a steep price. Honestly, I feel like it is worth it because they come with 
quite a lot. I'm just gonna mention um, a little bit or well list out to you guys what came in the last box and let you guys know so you guys know more or less what you're going to be getting in a box. Um, before I do that, I want to let you guys know that each box is also themed. So every three months when they send out a box, you get a themed box. So everything is kind of cohesive and goes together quite nicely. Um, so last quarter's themed box was September. So it was released in September and it was a library book or library themed box. Um, and it was absolutely stunning. I'm gonna leave a link so you guys can check some of the unboxings for that video, for that like box in particular, because it was amazing. Um, <clears throat> but it came with three different journals, one standard size, two mini or pocket size journals, and they were gorgeous and they were pretty thick too. So it's something that would be used throughout. I would probably take a whole year to use it up, but um, somebody who does like daily journals will probably use it up in a couple of months maybe like six months or something like that um it came with a notepad five markers good quality markers washi tapes a a, a package of washi tapes with four washi tapes in it um i think it was two thick ones and two kind of thin washi tapes um a date stamp and an ink pad four sheets of stickers and they were alphabet stickers and then two book clips just the kind of clips that you put on the side to keep your book open while you are writing in it um and it was a beautiful box definitely if you have the time check out the unboxing uh videos that will be linked down below because it was so nice and i was like i need this in my life so um if they're doing a christmas themed one i would literally I would literally spend the money on it because it would be beautiful um but i'm not sure what the next month's theme is they do release their subscription box like you can sign up and purchase it starting december 2nd i believe um so i'll leave the link to that down below so you can check it out it might be sold out by the time you watch this video but we'll see um next is called the inky box and they have a bunch of different kinds of boxes that you can get so different sizes um so let's just jump into that one real quick the inky box comes in two different um sizes they have a mini box which is $14.99 a month and um it's a sampling of three to five lettering tools from that month's um box and then um it's a downloadable practice sheet as well so you get three to five lettering tools markers crayons well i don't think they do crayons but markers pens etc and then a practice sheet to practice with those um things you do have to print that practice sheet yourself but it's fine um then the full box is $39.95 a month and it's a selection of lettering tools, supplies, a hand lettered greeting card or multiple and all of this is picked by that month's guest letterer. So every month they pick somebody who professionally is a letterer, they do calligraphy as a career or as a hobby and um, that is the guest letterer for the month and they choose the tools, they choose the topic, they choose everything and then they curate this box specifically for you. Um, I would not get the mini and the full box because as it is mentioned, sorry that it just got so dark, the sun went away, it's cloudy. Um, but as I mentioned, the mini comes with basically some of the tools from the larger box so you'll be getting duplicates. So. They also have, if you want to do something that's a little bit less expensive and um, is more of a digital product, they have a monthly hand lettering practice sheet for $3 a month and it's just a digital download of at least three different hand lettering practice sheets for that month and I think that's a nice gift um, if somebody is trying to learn calligraphy or something like that. So next is the junk journal box and um, they also have multiple sizes and multiple different boxes as well. They have a mini box and the mini box comes with a journal, a pen and two mystery items and it is $32.99. 
Um, so that seems a little steep for what comes with it, but we don't know what the two mystery items are, so they might be worth the $32.99. Um, a journal itself is probably not that expensive depending on where it is, the size of it, etc. So I don't know about that one and I haven't checked it out. I haven't really heard any reviews about it. So like I said um, in my crochet video, definitely please do your own research before purchasing anything. You want to make sure that you get the right thing. Next, the full size box from the journal junk box is... Um, doesn't say what it includes unfortunately on the website they do have a one-time price and that box if you purchase it as a one-time price is $57.99 which seems like a lot so especially for not knowing what <coughs> lord have mercy Ooh. Especially for not knowing what you're going to get in the box. It seems kind of pricey to me. Um, but I feel like it's something that is worth looking into and worth at least purchasing one time to see what you get and to see if it's worth it. I might do some reviews on some of these boxes in the future. If you get it on a month to month basis, it's $52.99. So it's a little bit cheaper. They also have where you can purchase um, six months worth or 12 months worth i believe um so that can be something where you can save a little bit more money on um, but if you do the month to month you can cancel any time um so there's that they also have which i kind of love this they have a kids box for 39.99 um in case you have a kid that you want to get into journaling and stuff like that they have a kids box it is geared more towards girls than guys or boys but they do have um some things that are more for boys than girls so they try to make it gender neutral but they are more geared towards girls um unfortunately so they also have a mini and a box like a full box together like a bundle where you can get the mini box and you can get the full box together so i think it's safe to assume if you do that little bundle what you receive in the mini box is different than what you receive in a full size box. Um, unlike the inky box that has the mini and the full box have the same thing, uh, just less in the mini. So I think that's something interesting to look into and to check out for yourself. So the next one I have here is the paper crate. And so this one is $29.99 a month and it's designed more for card making but i feel like you could totally use this for um journaling or art journaling junk journaling whatever you want to call it scrapbooking etc you can use all of that for um this box whatever this box comes with you can use that for all of those kinds of things <clears throat> or you can use it for what it's designed for which is card making and get yourself a new paper craft hobby um now it says it includes a welcome kit for new subs um and it has at least four cards embellishments and stamps set so i'm not sure if it comes with a little bit more or what but that is what it says on the website you should check it out if you're interested in that um and then there are so many more if you go and search well or click the link down below crate joy is like a place where i guess you can find literally any kind of subscription box you're looking for there um, i'm not sure if you can purchase directly from them or if you have to go to the website to purchase but they have a bunch of different things that you can look into and search up and you can find pretty much any subscription box ever created on there um and then do your research from there so yeah that is pretty much the end of this video thank you so much for watching i hope you have a wonderful beautiful blessed day and i will see you in the next one